Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be giving you my review of the recently released Weeble 3E. Now this unit was provided to me, however all of my thoughts in this review are completely honest. Now I won't bore you with what a gimbal does or the use cases in which they'd be useful. We already know what gimbals do and they all more or less achieve the same thing. So rather instead I'll be focusing on what makes this model unique and different and give you my completely honest thoughts on this product. So. To be completely honest, I don't really know why this exists. This particular model, the Weeble 3E, is technically newer than its predecessor, the Weeble 3S. However, what makes this product even more confusing is that it's actually a stripped down version of the 3S. The 3S had a built-in microphone and an integrated fill light built into the gimbal. The Type-C port for follow focus or video transmission has been removed. So with that many removals, what's the price difference now? On their website, the Weeble 3S retails for 319 USD and the Weeble 3E retails for 249. That's a pretty large cut of removed features for not that much in savings passed on to you. So what other differences are there? This gimbal in particular is heavily marketed as something that's very small, minimal, and easy to use. Everywhere in their marketing, they keep comparing it to the same size as an A4 sheet of paper, which is more or less a little bit bigger than an 8x11 sheet of paper. One notable feature is you can easily remove this sliding track flip it, and there you have a pretty painless way of switching to vertical shooting. Granted, I have seen plenty other gimbals where with a click of a button, it can electronically flip to horizontal or vertical. So of course that's gonna be what's most ideal, but seeing that this has the ability to do this at all is pretty nice. This gimbal can lock the axes, making it easy to pack up and store. The controls are super, super simple and very easy to use. So it's very clear that this particular gimbal is marketed toward beginners or those who are just getting into the world of using gimbals. So what do I think overall? It doesn't feel cheap or like a toy. It's very obvious that this is a good solid product. One thing that I really love is their attention to detail. And here's what I mean. In certain situations, sometimes the handles will actually be blocked, but all you have to do is pull out the handle and you can easily reposition it. These tiny details really add up to something that feels thought through and well made. However, some things just make me question why this was made, especially when its older brother has a lot more features for not that much more money. While I appreciate their attempt at making something that's more beginner friendly, and granted, it is beginner friendly, literally anyone could use this, there's not that many settings, it's one of those products that's hard to mess up, if that makes sense. So they've definitely achieved that part, and the very compact size does make it very appealing. However, simply because there's a bigger, better product that we can compare this to with only a $70 discrepancy between two completely different products, I really would have liked to see this priced a little bit more competitively. However, for those people who do decide to pick one up, you won't be disappointed with its ease of use, build quality, and compact size. However, it's really up to you if those cons, such as the removal of features, are deal breakers or not. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.